Hello everybody and welcome back to the safe hour once again. Oh look at that, look at that. We're going for our first actual beast kill. We did kill Dogma, we managed to kill Dogma, but unfortunately the beast um, being invisible made that a little tough to be honest. It made it a little tricky, so we are going to be jumping in as, I don't know, we've got so many people to try and so many people to play as here. Um, Judas has got a lot of marks. Maggie's not got too many. Maggie's a pretty ordinary character, but she is fun, so let's play as Maggie. We also unlocked Golden Bombs recently as well, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, ooh, this is a good room if we had flight. I will keep you in mind. In fact, I'm going to do one of you there like that and then use this just so I don't waste my charges. Because um, being able to play out a sack room in the first floor is pretty awesome if you can manage it. It's just not super easy. Oh, this is a hellish room. Got to get the diagonal shot just right. It's actually kind of good training for the diagonal shot, to be honest. Okay, this one is literally impossible to diagonal shot. I'm going to get hit in this room. Okay, no, 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 I didn't. Wow. That is surprising to me. But we do get just the best. Just the best active you can ask for here. Um, the only thing I will say is I'm not going to take it yet. Because I would rather uh, try and get a few charges on Yumha in case we can play the sack room more before we grab that. But that is an active that is insanely good. Excuse me, what the fuck happened then? <laughs> That's very confusing. Okay, there's a heart there. So let's go and do one more play. Got another penny. Lots of random pennies, little singletons hanging around here um but yeah it's a really good active because basically it allows us to um generate hp we do re-roll our curse and if we don't already have a curse it gives us one but honestly a four room charge for a half heart um uh, half black heart at least it's gonna it's gonna save us a ton of hp it's it's got a bit of danger to it but overall it's very very good um and then here we do have a soul heart as well i would have honestly preferred it to have been a red heart but I will take a soul heart, most definitely. Um, right. Do not get hit by the champion. Whatever you do, that would be colossally stupid. But you did get hit by the other enemy, which is also kind of colossally stupid. Bit annoying. I'm still going to go and um, spend a heart on the sack room here, just because. Boom, bow. You feel blessed. We're at four players so far, right? Is that three or four players? I can't remember. We should be able to get there this floor, I think. Okay, this, this is a horrendous looking room. Should not have been hit there. That enemy just kind of bumbled into me. It annoyed me greatly. Dropped me a heart, but not on the center. Okay, a key on the center. Equally as annoying as if it would have been a heart, but still. The, do you know, that's a bug that I wish would get fixed. I know it's not like anything major, but when these flies touch a wall, they just kind of bounce off it. It's very frustrating. They just kind of like bumble off the wall as soon as they hit it. It's really, really annoying. Uh, it causes a lot of trouble, to be honest. Is any, either of these going to drop their hands? Okay, none of them drop their hands, which is pretty nice. You can get out of here as well, mister. And we got ourselves a card here. Probably not going to be super useful, but I'll keep it in mind. Uh, I suppose I could use it for the boss for a quick kill. These guys are pretty problematic, but honestly, the most issueful thing, is issueful a word, is the red uh, fires, honestly. Get out of my face, you. Right. Pop this again. Uh, I guess we'll take this, although I still don't think this works. It's never really helped with anything with me. Um... I, I literally cannot believe that did zero damage. That absolutely dumbfounds me. How on earth did all those explosions, not a single one of them, went the right way to hit you? Honestly, this version of this guy is pretty tough. Um, them being unlinked definitely makes things harder. It seems like the baby has a much, much um, uh, lower delay on when he can fire. He seems to be firing all the bloody time. And his shot speed is actually pretty crazy, so... But now he's into rage mode, which it, it's, it depends. It can make him a lot easier, but the knockback can also be super tragic, and I hate it. Um, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, 
Hmm. Ah, oh, oh god. Uh, I need to just focus on killing this guy before I think of question of the day here. Because my brain is so small. Um, gulp held trinkets. Unfortunately, not a great trinket to gulp, but go on, why not? Um, also, not a great idea to pick that up, actually, in general. Because I've just gained two soul hearts that I'm going to be getting rid of very shortly. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, uh, right. Let's go and get rid of one. Hey, we got a chest out of that. Lovely. Hey, that's some good stuff. Very nice. Um, we get our teleport here, potentially. We did get our teleport as well. And we got pride pin, which is a fantastic item. Um, I'm going to try my best. Um, why do my bombs look like that? <laughs> Not entirely sure about that. And then we go here as well. Didn't get exactly what I wanted, but I think we're about ready to move on from this floor. We got Pride Pin, which is an insanely good item to get early. It seems to be an item that I honestly get a lot. I don't know why, but it seems to be a really common one for me. Um, and then we can use this to gain half Black Heart every four rooms. Like I said, it's not the craziest, but it's health generation. And it's, in my opinion, very powerful. Um, so we can utilize it. It should mean that Devil Deals are very much on the market for us as well. Which I very much like. So we wasted a few soul hearts there, but it's, it's no biggie, really. It ain't no biggie. But yeah, we got all these wacky uh, wacky tears now from Pride Pin. Bit of a weird um, angel deal item, to be honest. Someone mentioned that before. I can't even remember. What was I going to do for question of the day? I've, I've completely lost it. I'm going to see what this is. Oh, it's a tears up. Banging. Absolutely banging. We're not going to go alt path this time, because we're just going to try and do a beast run here. Um... Hmm. Um. What's a boss from another game that you'd like to see translated into Isaac? I don't do Isaac-related questions of the day that much anymore. And I, I, I enjoy them. Enjoy them. Also, can I just say, I'm, I, I'm kind of interested by the fact that the pride pin... For some reason, when Maggie's wearing it, I'm pretty sure is that the is that the lesbian pride flag? I'm gonna have to Google this now. Um, pride flag. No, it's not. Which pride flag is this? It's that one. It's the bisexual pride flag. Okay, I couldn't remember. I don't, there's there's so many of them. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. Oh wait, it changes every room. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Equal representation, I like it. Because now it's the other one. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, it doesn't change. Okay, maybe it doesn't change every room, but it did change. Oh, fuck me, that's a lot of boys. Oh no. Yeah, one of you's buffed these guys up and now they've got a thousand HP. Also, did I just turn this enemy into a worse enemy? I think I did. Fuck are you, you stupid fuck. Okay, this guy's got a billion HP, so let's get ready for a fight. The farts aren't really helping, so thanks for that, I guess. Oh my god, just die. There you go. Oh my lord. Oh! Boy, oh, yo, 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 it's been some time since I've seen my cricket head baby. We get the pie damage, 3.14. Gotta love it. Gotta love some pie damage. But yeah, we've got that trinket smelted that makes fires drop stuff more often. It's supposed to be petrified poop, but for fires, but if you see, it um, doesn't do anything, <laughs> seemingly. Oh, there's one of your hands. I knew you were going to drop one at some point, just didn't know when. I can't even remember what I asked for question of the day now. The pride pin distracted me. Oh, it, it just changes on a timer by the looks of it. Oh, God. Oh, I can't believe we didn't take damage there. And we got... Oh, God. We got a homing shot monster. That sounds... That sounds devastatingly horrible. Thank God he didn't shoot. Such a beautiful poop. I think that just makes red poops into regular poops. I think. Right. 
Good stuff. Gimme, gimme. We're just kind of beelining through at the minute. So th this this downgrades enemies. That's, I think it's pretty cool. Oop. Or upgrades. Or random grades. I don't know. I thought it downgraded, but that seemed to upgrade that enemy twice. Maybe it's just random, whether it upgrades or downgrades. We do have to be careful about some curses, especially this curse, because it's, it's, it's still bugged. And as you can clearly see, it can produce a situation where we have three curses at once, which is always fun. Doesn't affect too much on bosses, though. I don't know what tier effect we want most. I don't know what's the tier effect that's most impactful for like a boss fight. Probably that explosive one, right? Everyone loves explosions. The fat one's not too good, but it does give us a good knockback. And then we go, oh my god, the damage. The damage is pumping. I'm going to take Bag of Bobbies here. Thank you much, Lee. Bag of Bobbies isn't that good, but it gives me deal with the devil precedent, and it's better than Brother Bobby, so. And I'm feeling like a devil deal run at the moment, because I've got the way to get hearts. Dead Tooth, um, it's not particularly good, but if anything gets too close, I think I will take Petrified Poop here. If anything gets too close, we can handle it. Two stone chests is probably worth. Yeah, I don't know why we have um, bombs that look like that, I'll be honest. I like my spike block. He's doing good stuff. He's been a good fella. What the hell? Downgrade this- oh my god, okay. The, it's definitely not downgrade, it is just random, because the things that it turned them into was much more annoying than the enemy it started off as. I'm gonna need to get rid of that tier that's just hanging out there. Oh my lord. Getting free key with a three key. Gotta love the three keys. Yeah, this tier seems pretty good, although it seems to just sometimes not, not do the explosion, which I'm not 100% sure why that is. Excuse me, sir. Get out of here. Oh, bugger. I didn't realize he was that sort of champion. I don't know why, but that made me think of, like, the not like the other girl, girls meme. Do you know, it's like, oh, I'm not like the other girls. I do this, and it's just exactly like every other girl. I'm not like the other champions. Is exactly like the other champions. I don't know why I find that funny. Sometimes I find some stuff funny that is just wholly stupid. Like, wholeheartedly the dumbest thing ever. Are these buttons that we need to press? I don't think they are, are they? I'm still going to press them. You see? It all worked out, apart from when it didn't. Do, do, do. Yeah, also I like the fact that we just constantly have to change up what's going on with uh, the cha constantly changing curses. I find that fun. Get some mini Isaacs in the mix. Oh wait, we... <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. We re-rolled into no curse, which I'm assuming is a, a little bit of a bug with the uh, blessings mod. Because I'm, I'm assuming the blessings technically still count as curses. And it tried to re-roll me into a blessing but then realized that it's not a curse, and so it didn't reroll into anything. So I'm guessing that's what happens there. It might not be. It might just have the chance to reroll into nothing. But my, my best guess would be that um, it can reroll into a blessing, and rerolling into a blessing gives you nothing. That would be uh, my observation. We should probably try and go to the shop here, but I'm honestly not all that fussed. Ooh, a fat bat. That's that's rather annoying. Don't run away from that. Oh, I think I, I think I just about got him there. Good, good. And just a simple health up, no problem. We do need a trinket to leave, but we we have petrified poop, so that's fine. We need to make sure to keep a, keep a bomb so we uh can use the full card to get out. All new things I'm learning. All new things. Why? I just realized, why the fuck didn't I play as Tainted Judas? I unlocked Tainted Judas in the last episode. Why didn't I play as him? Dumb. Big stupid dumb. Whoopsie. 
I kind of forgot that I'd unlocked a tainted character, I'll be honest. But it is what it is. Don't worry about it. It'll come around. I'm sure a few of you in the comments are going to be like, Hey, Turtle, why did you play as a tainted character? Well, that's because brain small. Brain oh so small. Stop hurting my brother Bobbies. They don't like it. Can you not hear their little screams? Their little baby screams. It's so upsetting to me. One second. I have people coming over very shortly, so I'm just checking up to see if, they're, uh, if they've messaged or not. No, they haven't. Okay, that made that easier. And that made that a lot easier. Okay, so it seems the fungus is like a random upgrade. Like, it upgrades or downgrades them, whereas the... Um, the little water splash one definitely downgrades them. That's my astute observation thus far. Ooh, also, good trinket. In fact, such a good trinket that I think we, um, actually, I think we take this, we drop this in here, and then we, um, take the other trinket. Tooth and Nail's decent, but I want something that's going to be good for the fight. The beast fight, that is. Like 2020, for example. That is um, one that I think will be very good for the fight, because it literally almost doubles our damage output. <gasps> Rainbow chest, hell yes. The Onk, because I guess why not. I'm not going to open that golden chest because they're currently broken and I don't want to cause issues. We got Keeper's Kin, I like. We got Soul Heart, I like. I'll actually open that up as well, just in case. We got Monkey's Paw there. Decent, but I don't need it. Boss Disc giving us a ton of stats. Good stuff. Keeper's Kin there, doing its good work. And finally, a shop. Fortunately, not a good one, but it's selling a trinket for some reason. I've not seen that before. I'm not sure why that is. That was a scary room there. This is almost definitely a secret room. It just had that look about it. Spicy keys, I really don't need. I would rather not lose health for that, to be honest. Good, good. All the extra stats here is lovely. And I think that's that floor done. Adversary, you're not too bad. Especially when our spike block just goes ham right into you. Fuck me. That's good stuff. I think we have a build that can do it now. Bell Clapper's nice. Devil Deal here is Krampus. Just give us Lump of Coal and I'll be on my way. Don't bother trying to sell me down a river of pain with the bloody head that you've got going on there. Ugh. You big fucker. You big, big fucker. How could you do this to me? I'm so disappointed in you. We got Adept XL, which actually I'm not very happy about, I'll be honest. I was really hoping to get another Devil Deal in so I could trade away my Red Hearts. I'll get another two Devil Deals in, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Really wanted to try and unlock um, Fiend here. Because we are almost at full black hearts, but we still have red hearts available. If I can empty the red hearts, I'm going to class that as done. If we have all black hearts and empty red hearts, I'm going to class that as a, as a victory royale. Right, keep your eye out for the uh, the fool's... Not fools, whatever. What the hell is it called? The fool card tinted skull thingy. Keep your eyes peeled for it, boys. Oh, God. The teeth shot, while very, very strong, creates a trend, tre a tremendous amount of lag. Not a trendous amount of lag. I don't know what a trendous is. So 
Someone Google what a trend this is. We have to know. Bugger off. Stupid ghosts. Because, yeah, now we are at full... We're at full black hearts here, so... All we need to do is empty our red hearts. And I would say that's, that's, that's achieved victory, because... We can't remove our black hearts, and then we would be at full, full black hearts, so... We can't remove our red hearts, sorry, that's what I meant to say. We just need a blood donation machine that doesn't pay out super quick. Why did I do that? I could have used that. Okay, the, the bees are a really good shot as well. I'm using my active item, by the way, just because um, if I use it, I can... Uh, we got here. Not great, to be honest. If we use it, we can um, get the extra stats from our uh, trinket. That's Ipecac right there. Um, I'm feeling ipecac -y, so... Although Ipecac on the beast fight is pretty tragic. Um, I'm still going for this anyways. Also, I really don't like the phrase ipecac -y. It sounds way too close to the khaki. Like, way too close. For my likings, thank you. Not... Not a phrase I'm going to be saying very often. Not something I enjoyed coming out of my mouth. And I am sure many of you will probably completely agree with me on that. Fuck me. Either we walk, walk past our fool's um, rock or it is miles away. Could just be miles away. It's always a possibility. I like the fact that we can destroy rocks to get spiders too with Keeper's Kin. That is pretty nice. And the spiders are probably doing fucking insane damage too. Okay. So far, I've probably walked past it. Is is the consensus that I'm coming to here. I could do that room, but I don't really have a need to. It's never in big rooms, it's always in single rooms. Thought that was it then. Oh my god. There seems to be a lot more rooms left than I thought. I suppose it is an XL floor, so... Makes sense, I guess. I'm glad that if I don't kill... If I can't kill the enemies, my spiders could do a mighty good job of doing it for me. Apart from when the enemy is floating above a uh, void that my spiders can't reach. Excuse me, host. Come on, game. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Where the hell is it? We've also got... That's very, very good, too. There's some chonky spiders now. And I guess we just donate. We've actually done really, really well on our donation machine thus far. I think that deleted run did help, though, when we were able to donate, like, 99 in one go. That is something that we won't see very often. It better be in that one room remaining. I don't want to be faffing around for the next 20 minutes looking for where the hell this bloody thing is. That's going to be a right pain in the ass. I have a feeling it is in that room, though. But yeah, these these hive mind spiders are going to kick ass. Well, it's not in this room, so that's good. And this is also a, a terrible room full of nightmare fuel. Um, and because of that, I'm just going to be like, nah. There's still so many more rooms. How? There it is. We got there in the end. Now, don't accidentally use it before the boss is the, is the crux of the, this whole plan. Yeah, yeah. Do your spookies. I'm just going to bomb through again because I can't be arse dealing with you. 
That room physically annoys me. Right, let's get gone, people. Let's get to boogieing. God damn. I like the fact as well that because of our um, BFF, we've got just this train of absolutely giant brother bobbies. It's kind of great. Yeah, that was... That was not that hard. And honestly, a speed-up is very welcome because we haven't had one thus far. Beautiful. Dark boy. Leprosy. Brimstone. Or Babylon. Luda? This is a weird one. It does still explode. This is a very weird one, but I'm very happy with it. I I don't know if I've done boss rushes, Maggie. I don't think I have. Yeah, this is insane. I have a feeling this is rife for, for problems, like in terms of self-damage. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the results that I'm uh, that I'm seeing here. This is the first Brimstone run that we've had. And in one fell swoop, before we even fired a Brimstone once, we got an absolutely godly synergy with it. Like, this is gonna annihilate the beast. <laughs> and that is absolutely no joke. It's like, we've only got 12 damage now. It lowered our damage from the from the Ipecac damage, but that doesn't matter one single bit. Doesn't matter one single bit. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so looking forward to seeing how wrecked this, this, like, how much this wrecks Beast. I feel like this is just gonna absolutely destroy Beast. If we'd have got a lump of coal, this would have been sick. Also, that's pretty good. Um, and then we full card. And then we go this way. I do think we have a significant problem of potential self-damage. Um, I feel like that could be a real issue. Just because this explodes a lot. But... Remember, we're going to be generating spiders like fucking crazy in regular rooms. We also have very low shot speed too, which is affecting this. Definitely makes this a bit worse. I would like a lot more shot speed if I could ask for anything. That enemy was tanky. <laughs> and that's that's saying something. He lasted like half a second. That's crazy. Okay, this, this is a bad room. Yeah, this, this is a room where we just we're automatically gonna take some self damage. Just go. Yeah, any room with towers like that, like rocks that are really close to us, we're automatically gonna take self damage. Just get over it. Well, that is a big boy. Um, we've got... I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get that other one, but... Guess not. Guess not. Right, this is going to be a very quick beast kill, I would think. Got to remember to grab our, I think it's next floor. I'll check this item room as well, but I'm fairly sure it's next floor. Nah, it, it definitely is. It wasn't on the XL floor. Oh, God. 
We'll be fine without you. Oh my god. That ghosty boy was getting wrecked up something chronic there. Yes, it's definitely next floor where we left our trinket. Or the floor before that, maybe. Crawl space? That isn't something we can bother taking anyways, so I'm not I'm not that bo not, not asked about that. Okay, so next floor's item room, we check. Hopefully get a cracked key. We destroy the world there, that's good. Ow. Item room's here actually. Barely noticed it. There it is, the cracked key we're looking for. That's what we needed. He had Ludo. He had Ludo too. Fuck her off with your Ludo tears, bitch. Another crawl space. Guy pissing. I, I, sorry I interrupted you. I'll be on my way now. Thank you. It's nice that the explosions don't activate for a hot second when you enter a room. So you don't automatically just blow yourself up. That is rather kind. Oh my god. These troll bombs got launched. Up we go. Good thing is as well here we get a ton of charges really quick so we can charge up our active at hyper speed. Beautiful. Die, big boy. Taking a beating, wow. Ah. There's some of these enemies that are just so hard to actually dodge. As long as we're still gaining health, though. You got Godhead? Fuck no. Stay away. Like, these enemies are just really, really hard to dodge. Up we go. A few more floors to go. We're only one heart down. I think that's pretty good going, to be honest. That guy's a pain in the ass. He needs to go right now. Oh, bugger. I didn't realize you'd bloody explode into a bunch of... Oh, my God. What the fuck's happening in this room? What the hell was that enemy? You just exploded into a bunch of crap. I don't know what that is. The Tower of Poo Poo. Careful of all the rocks. Good. Right, up we go. The last floor. We need you. Yeah, this enemy can go die. I don't understand anything about how he works. Even the big champion boys just get wrecked. Dude, stop spawning, please. And there you go. Right. Let's go annihilate some stuff. I don't really need bombs, I don't think. feel like they're low priority. I don't really know what that side room's about. Why does that even exist? Gives you nothing every time. The Dauntless Heart. And Tainted Maggie has been unlocked. Awesome. And then 
Red key is back again, which is strange. I don't know why it's still here, but thank you. Right. Oh god, the fucking dress has started exploding. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Luckily, we can just sit it on top of him and get on with the rest of our day. Same with this guy, although he's going to move a lot more, so it's not quite as easy. But he's still going to die really fast. Especially during this attack. He barely moves during this attack. In fact, we might kill him just, just on this attack. Pretty much we did, yeah. Wow, okay, that was good. <laughs> that was quick. That was a quickie. This should be our first beast kill pretty easily here. Again, these guys don't move much. And there's no rocks for us to blow up on, so... Oh, bugger, you went on the same side. You cheating bastard. There you go. Dead. I don't know what's going on with these two flies up here. They seem to be a bit stuck. Oh, you're, you're gonna love this, dude. It's all poison. It's all... Keep him in headshot. Look at that. Give him a little, give him a little halo around him. Oh, God. I'll get that out of the way real quick. Take care of the rest. It's raining shots, but I don't care. Hello, war. What are you good for? You you also love explosions, so this might be your style too, so... You're all in for a treat at the minute, to be honest. You all ought to be loving this. Keep him framed. Keep his head framed perfectly. And you are also done. Beautiful. One last boy. Oh, I fucking stood right next to him as he exploded. Bullshit. What up, death? Yeah, I feel like this attack is going to be your demise here, because you basically don't do anything or really move anywhere for a solid amount of time, so... Yeah, you come back onto the screen, see what happens. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, that was good. Right. The final stretch. Beast in it, beast face. We really don't have to move the ring at all here. Also, this guy is fairly, like, vulnerable to explosives, from what I remember, so... That's rather nice. Drop some extra bombs on there. Just for a bit of flavour. Good, good, good. I, I'm literally not even touching my uh, thingy anymore. Like, why, why bother? I don't need to touch my keys. Just leave the ring there. It'll do most of the damage. I'll be fine. I'm standing behind this block because it's blocking all the fires. Right, he's on to the last phase. Same thing again, but from the other side. Oh god, I just like literally walk right into that. Right. I could probably just let every single one of these hit me and I'd be fine, but I'm not going to do that. Either way, this was a very fun run. A very, very good and momentous first beast kill, I have to say. Evil beggar unlocked. 
very nice. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun run, very quick run indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.